Let's dive into SoFi, breaking down everything you need to know as we head into the coming week. We'll cover potential stock price movements, volatility triggers, and some broader market events you should be aware of. Hello everyone, welcome to Daily Stock Update. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But before that, alert this is not a financial advice video. This week is shaping up to be heavily driven by data releases rather than corporate earnings. While companies like Micron and Costco will be reporting, these aren't the major players likely to influence broader market movement. Instead, Key economic data points will dominate, starting Monday with the release of manufacturing data. The forecast is 48.4, and over the last two reports, we saw significant market volatility in response to this data. In theory, a figure below 50 indicates contraction in the broader market, so it's no wonder that this release has caused some uncertainty and sharp movements in the past. Expect Monday to be similarly volatile, depending on the outcome of this report. Throughout the week, Various speakers and data points will keep the market on its toes. On Thursday, we'll get a look at the GDP and initial jobless claims, followed by PCE, personal consumption expenditures data, on Friday. These figures will add to the already tense market environment as investors try to digest what these numbers mean for the overall economy. It's important to remember that the market is still grappling with the idea of potential interest rate cuts. The initial cut of 50 basis points and the potential for further cuts, 50 more in November and possibly another 25 in December, hasn't fully settled in. You might assume that rate cuts would be universally welcomed, but the chatter around recessions has complicated things. The market's reaction to these rate cuts has been anything but straightforward. The moment we hear about a cut, conversations around the risk of recession heat up, which leads to confusion and volatility. Investors are still trying to figure out how rate cuts will affect the broader market in the long term. Even now, it's tough to say how this all will play out, but one thing is clear. The market is more data dependent than ever. When we look at broader market sentiment, the fear and greed index currently sits in the greed category, which means that investors' appetite for risk is high. If the upcoming data releases are positive, we can expect more buying activity, leading to potential upward movement in stock prices. However, as of now, there is no specific news related to SoFi scheduled for this week, no earnings releases or major conferences. Many are already looking ahead to SoFi's next earnings report, though the exact date hasn't been confirmed yet. In the meantime, expect shorts to respond aggressively to any relevant economic data. Speaking of short activity, Last week saw shorts returning shares nearly every day. On Friday alone, around 2.8 million shares were returned, with about 1.4 million shares being returned during the trading day and more after hours. This indicates a consistent return of shorted shares, which may continue into the coming week, depending on market conditions. The current short interest in SoFi sits at around 18.53% of the free float, which is up slightly from the mid-17% range before the recent run-up. Based on this, I expect shorts to keep returning shares, potentially driving short interest down to around 17% in the short term. One significant event from last week that stands out is the movement of approximately $20.2 billion out of money markets. If you've been following my channel, you know I've been discussing how consecutive rate cuts could encourage big money to flow from money markets back into equities. While $20 billion is a relatively small portion of the roughly $6.3 trillion currently in money markets, it still signals increasing optimism in the stock market. This trend may take some time to fully materialize, but it's worth keeping an eye on, especially as we saw a similar rotation back in 2020 and 2021 which led to significant market gains. As for SoFi, the stock closed last week at $8.00, just above a key technical support level. In terms of options activity, there were about 18,000 open contracts at the $7.00 strike price, 13,000 at the $7.50 strike, and 43,000 at the $8.00 strike, all of which expired in the money. Now, market makers are likely covering these positions, which could add to some volatility in the coming days. Additionally, 
After hours trading on Friday saw a number of abnormal transactions, possibly tied to options covering or the broader market volatility caused by quad witching, which often brings heightened price movements. With all of this in mind, Monday could see a bump in SoFi stock price as these open positions are covered. The potential covering could involve around 7 million shares, which could push the stock price higher. Keep a close watch on how the market reacts to Monday's data releases, as this will likely set the tone for the rest of the week. Looking at the technicals, SoFi remains in a strong position. The stock is trading between two key resistance levels, $8.02 acting as support and $8.40 as the next major resistance point. If Monday's data is positive, SoFi could challenge the $0.840 cent resistance. For the options expiring on September 27th, we already see a wall of open interest at $8.50, which will be a critical level to break through if SoFi continues its upward momentum. SoFi's technical performance has been impressive compared to other growth stocks, many of which have fallen below their 50-day moving averages. SoFi, on the other hand, has remained above key moving averages such as the 5-day, 10-day, and 200-day averages, keeping a cautiously optimistic outlook. However, it's important to note that SoFi is currently overbought, according to the stochastic oscillator. This could lead to some consolidation or pullback if negative data emerges, as overbought stocks often face corrections. Retail investors have also been pulling out over the past few trading days, likely waiting for some positive catalysts to encourage them to re-enter the market. Both institutional and retail investors seem to be looking for reassurance, some signal that everything is going to be okay amidst all the noise in the market. With the potential for another 75 basis points of rate cuts by the end of the year, much of the current volatility could be short-term noise, but it's hard to say for sure until we see how the data unfolds. As for my price prediction, I see SoFi reaching around $8.49 by the end of the week, just shy of the 850 resistance. This lines up with SoFi's historical patterns and with the data-driven nature of the market right now. It's all about how the numbers come in. Let me know your price predictions in the comments below. And as always, have a great weekend. We'll just have to wait and see how the market reacts to everything that's coming our way. Friends, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about today's video? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.